he's alive and as long as they keep bringing him up for parole, we have to keep fighting it. All she can do for her mother now is try to keep the killer in prison. Good evening, everyone. The crime terrified the Clifton Heights area. 73-year-old Thelma Beck was called the Icy Lady because she gave ices to kids in the neighborhood. And then she was dead, murdered. The details so very disturbing. It was a long time ago, and Thelma's four daughters thought justice was served. But justice can be fickle. Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us the family is still fighting for it after 25 years. Thelma Beck was recovering from hip surgery and using a walker in April 1990. The widow lived in the house on Florida where she and her husband raised four girls, and that's where her body was found. Stabbed out many times, throat slit, just very brutal, very brutal. It was a very, all of her, most of her ribs were broke. There's times you wake up and you wonder, you think about her running from him or being attacked by him. Defensive wounds showed Thelma fought for her life, but with whom? This is a reward poster that went up around Flora Avenue back in 1990 after Thelma Beck was murdered. It took two years for fingerprints from the crime scene to be matched to Fred Stanley, a 17-year-old who walked here from Hughes High School. There were competency hearings and two trials because of a comment the bailiff made to the first jury. But Stanley was convicted of killing Thelma Beck. Investigators told her family he would never get out of prison. It was so brutal that, um, you know, he'll, he'll always be in prison. You won't have to worry about that. And it doesn't happen that way. No, it doesn't. Fred Stanley is up for parole next week. It's up to the family to convince the parole board to keep him in. A petition is on the prosecutor's Parole Watch website. The board already has Joe Dieter's letter. There are certain defendants that you just have to warehouse. You just have to put them in prison and let them die there because they will get out and kill again. If he doesn't get out, this will go on for years. Stanley's only 42 years old, but there are 18 great-grandchildren Thelma Beck never met willing to take up the parole fight. When we're not here any longer, I know someone else will be fighting to keep him in. You know, I covered both trials, Rob. You remember him yeah, too. Sure. And he, the verdict comes in, you go, oh, the family, finally, peace. And here we are, 25 years later, and the parole board's going, uh, convince us he's dangerous. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's almost unbelievable. It seems like something you ought not have to do, but you do. It, and, absolutely. This, and, it, this is the way it is. And people are, I'm going to give an email address here in a moment for people to write if they care to. Right. Does that work or are we wasting our time? Joe Dieter says it's the only thing that works. He says he can write letter after letter after letter and all they care about is does the community care if this man uh, is back out living among them? He yeah. believes the power is in the people. Well, if you'd like to send that message to the parole board, go to local12.com, click on the Get It button, look for the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Parole Watch website. Click on Fred Stanley's name to send your message.